So I've said it before, I'll say it again, and I'm going to keep on saying it. And that's if the new DC isn't a total reboot, they might as well not even bother. But we're all super nervous because Peter Safran and James Gunn have a lot of friends currently in the DCEU that we're having a hard time believing they're not going to pull over to their new version of DC. And one of those friends is Mr. Zachary Levi. That's right, even though Dwayne Johnson produced his movie, although would have nothing publicly to do with it, uh, he's, you know, Zachary Levi's good pals with uh, Peter Safran in particular, as evidenced by this picture of them together on vacation recently. That was just taken, like during the holidays, uh, after the deal went through. So they're pals. Uh, as some of people have been saying online, it's either going to be really awkward <laughs> or unfair. Uh, and that's why Zachary Levi has been defending Gunn and Saffron so aggressively to the press. So let's see if, I mean, if it works, it works out for Levi, it doesn't work out for us. But, you know, what does that mean for this movie? What does it mean for any of the remaining DC movies? So let's see if this trailer makes it seem like this is worth seeing in theaters. Uh, or, you know, if we shouldn't, I'll just wait for HBO Max, if that. All right, here we go. And I liked the first one, by the way. I liked the first one a lot, the first Shazam. Oh, I like this music choice. We are at war. We will annihilate everything. Champions of this realm can do nothing to stop us. But why? <laughs> you are very menacing. I just want you to know that. That's cool, Helen Mirren. That's cool that Helen Mirren did that. A lot has changed in the last few years. The wizard gave me superpowers. Shazam! I mean, everybody got superpowers. Started from the bottom, now we're here. All right, here's the situation. Started from the bottom, now the whole team here. The daughters of Atlas are coming to hunt us. Children stole the power of the gods. He seems like Percy Jackson. Ripped it from our father's core. Okay, I feel like maybe I should be writing all this down. I think there's too many kids. child. Your world will not survive this. You want these powers? Come get them! Hey, Khaleesi! <laughs> these are some good jokes. Started from the bottom, now we're here. All right. Started from the bottom, now the whole team here. We have one job to do. Save the world. Billy! I don't know how we fight powers like this. Why'd they even make Shazam? I can't do this. Take my powers back. You gave them to me, so you would take them back, right? Oh. Do not haunt you. I what am I doing? Searching for a worthy champion. You know exactly what must be done. Billy, what are you doing? I have to do this. We end this now. Yeah, we do. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Started from the bottom, now the whole team here. This looks way better than I thought it would. Why is any fighting black hair? Dwayne Johnson just isn't that into it. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Read these comics, please! <laughs> They're so bad. Um, uh, and again, the shadow of Jeff Johns still looms over, you know, somebody commented, and I agree with this, one of you said, you know, everybody who ever gets involved in DC always does what's best for them instead of the brand. And I'm really worried, as are many of you, that's going to continue to be the case. Uh, Jeff Johns promoted his own comics, his own storylines, and, you know, his own best interests because he gets royalties whenever you buy the comic to see what the movie's based on. And so and these are all Jeff Johns comics, by the way, at least the two on the left. Um, and that's not what's good for the brand. But, uh, you know, they want to sell Warner Brothers anyway. So I don't know. So what do you what do you think? What do you think? They're just going to, I think, suck all the joy out of Warner Brothers until you feel it should be stripped for parts like Fox. And I feel like that's kind of the direction we're heading. But I mean, that looked pretty good to the credit of everyone involved. I think everyone involved did a nice job. But you know, you really do wonder what's what's the point of it. And what was even the point in the first place of going down the path with this character? Be because Jeff Johns was writing the title is the answer. So what, I mean, I'll watch it. I like the first one. Um, 
And I, you know, but I think I'm very curious to see what audience interest is. I think that the bottom might totally fall out of these remaining movies. The Flash is going to have a trailer at the Super Bowl. That's going to be important because that's supposed to be just such a good movie. They have to release it. They're like, we have to. It's so good. Uh, and we're like, really? So let's see what kind of trailer they put out. But as for this one, it was a good trailer. But I just think, I, I think that's going to, you know, be an HBO Max. I think that's where that movie's going to do the best. All right, so, and I do think there's too many characters in it. Even though I like every single actor in the Shazam family, uh, particularly Megan Good, uh, but, you know, it, it's just it's too many characters to pos- and what they have, why do they have, you have so many heroes and you have so many villains, you can't possibly uh, develop them uh, correctly in the, in the spa- span of a movie versus a series. Uh, So what do you think? What do you think? Share your thoughts down below. Thank you for watching with me. Subscribe today. And of course, as always, you can check out some more videos right now.